Then, because we have a solution of this, we can get the response. That's it. That's it. Okay? Okay. Let's work out another simple example to make sure first we can do the analysis of what I just introduced to you and the second try to grasp the physical meaning. Okay. Suppose we have vibratory system like this. This is our frictionless flow. Frictionless. Yes. To start with, suppose we have a very special case, M and M, the same mass and the same stiffness, K, K, K. And now we know that the first natural frequency by inspection would be But omega one square. The omega one is the uh, easiest or lowest natural frequency that can be generated in the vibration system that we have. What would be? The mass move like this. Right? So what is the mass of this system? It's 2m. What is the stiffness of this system? 2K. Okay. So by inspection we know that that would be K over M. We would like to know whether this procedure really gives the natural frequency that we intuitively estimated. Okay. What would be the second natural frequency? This mass is moving like this. So the K is again 2K. Why? 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 That's a good question. Okay. So <laughs> sometimes I love him, sometimes I hate him. Okay. What is the definition of K? The force required to move the mass, unit mass, m mass in unit displacement. Okay. So let's suppose these two mass moving in unit displacement like this. Okay? Then force that is experienced by this mass is what? 1k over here and 1k over here. Right? So he will feel 2k. Right? One is acting this way and one is pulling the mass in this way. Therefore there is 1k and 1k. And at the same time this one feels the same force. Right? So, the second natural frequency is 2K over M. Well, we'll see whether this is correct by following the procedure that is mathematically huh? described over here. Okay, what is the U1? U1 is 
one one. And this is moves one, this moves one. And what is the U two? One minus one. So I I I I mean re, 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 referring uh, taking the motion of M one as a reference. I always say this is one, and this can be minus one. Okay, this is what we can write by inspection in Korean to the geometry. Well, that is that is nice, right? <coughs> if we if we can if we can estimate by inspection, then why we need mathematics? Terrible mathematics. Okay, but if you are well trained to look at the problem using mathematical terms, we can certainly develop the degree of our inspection. Right? Later on, we can see this problem by applying, for example, when you design a car. The first mode would be the motion and these two suspension move together. That is omega one. The second one would be this mode. Okay. The natural frequency of the first one and natural frequency of Second one is related with the suspension stiffness of this one and this one, as well as the effective mass distribution on the suspension. Okay. When you start your car, okay, you want to know the contribution of each U1 and U2 by the initial condition of your car. Initial velocity and initial displacement. Why this is important? Because you want to have a certain certain acceleration or certain feeling when you start your car. That is also related with the mass distribution, M1 and M2. Recently, Hyundai announced very ambitious car that is called the Genesis, and they claimed that they moved the mass to the back seat. I mean, they put more mass on the back seat compared with the previous car. That the previous car all driven of front field drive type. And this is the this is the, the very first car that is driven real field. So the mass distribution is very important because the natural frequency omega one and omega two are determined by the mass distribution as well as the stiffness distribution. Okay. This is very has a very practical meaning, practical value. This is not just what you working on on the blackboard that has very practical meaning. <coughs> what kind of mass distribution is, is good for your car, for your suspension system? So two degree of freedom system. And then later on, you may interest to 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 know the vibration. So more than two degree of freedom system. Okay. Then you may want to know the distribution of mass along the seat.